Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, we are gonna be doing a little bit of work too with the taillights on the Duramax. Now, I know a lot of you guys were reaching out to me and DMing me saying like, oh, did you change your taillights? No, I didn't. I just peeled the overlay wrap that was just a smoked tint off. And the reason I did that is because we're gonna be doing a complete color match on these taillights. So I'm gonna be doing a step-by-step -step on how to take them apart and paint them and get them as close to this vinyl wrap as possible. So I went and tried to find paint that was as close to this vinyl as possible, but we're gonna just see how it works and see how it ends up turning out. It might be a little bit different, but I've got a feeling that it's gonna look close enough that I don't really care. Um, the biggest thing that I don't like about these taillights is that they have a chrome insert in here and I don't have any other chrome on the truck. Um, the other thing I want to get rid of is the red deflectors. I want everything to just be nice and color matched and just flow together really nicely. Also on these taillights, uh, there's a little bit of a strip that goes around the outside here and you just all, you can just see all the built up dirt that gets in there so it just really doesn't look that clean. So today we're going to be taking care of all of that. I'm going to set the camera up over here and we're going to get started. So that's why I wanna clean these up and then add a layer of the vinyl to the outside of here so that it flows onto the truck so much nicer. And I think without these chrome housings on the inside and everything looking color matched, it's gonna look so much better. But now that they're out, let's head upstairs and let's tar start the teardown. All right, you guys, so now I got everything upstairs and I just wiped these guys off just to get some of the dirt off of them. But now you can see what we're starting with. And for those of you guys who were asking, these are spider taillights. Not recon taillights, these are spider taillights. And honestly, for the price, you cannot go wrong. I've had spider taillights on three or four of my pickups in the past, and I've had no issues whatsoever with them. And yeah, again, for the price, you really can't, can't go wrong with them. Um, so these are gonna be our three paints here. Uh, the nightshade is going to be for this L, or this C, I guess, sorry. Just because I don't want any white on the truck. And then I haven't decided if I'm going to use black paint on these red reflectors, or if I'm just going to use the nightshades on it. Um, and then this is the paint that I found that's really close to the wrap. I don't know if you can see that, but... Yeah, it's really, really close, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out once it's dry and under the lens, but we're going to find out, I guess. And uh, yeah, this was just like 15 bucks down at Canadian Tire. So I figured it was worth a shot. Um, other than that, uh, we're gonna flip these guys over. And there's a couple things we gotta prep before we start. So I know these caps come off here and here. And then I wanna take some of these screws out just because when you put it in the oven to bake them, uh, you don't want those melting. Uh, I am gonna do shorter times just because I know that there's an LED harness in here and I'm just kind of nervous about uh, applying that much heat to it. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at. And I'm gonna set the camera up here on the side again and then we can start tearing these guys apart. everything off got all the caps off got that piece off uh, these grommets do, don't look like they're gonna be coming off I really don't want to tear into them so we'll just see how it goes with them left in 
Uh, but other than that, I think they're ready to go. So let's preheat the oven. Okay, so we've got the oven preheated to 250 degrees. We've got the tail light face down on a towel. Make sure you use a towel or a rag that you don't care about just in case you know anything happens. Um, and then we've got our timer here that's set for five minutes. Uh, another important thing is when you take these uh, and you put them into the oven, you wanna make sure that it's touching no metal at all, uh, just because you don't want it to have contact and melt. So we're going to open up, throw the first one in. And there we go. See you in five. All right, so now you guys can see everything is in pieces. So what I ended up doing was heating everything up uh, just to allow the glue to soften just enough. And then I just took my rotary tool here and just cut around the edge of the housing or the lens, sorry. And just want to get just on the inside so you don't actually cut this, but just on the inside of it. So this comes out unscathed, untouched. So just, yeah, right along this edge here. But now that everything is in pieces, um, I found out that these deflectors are not really removable. So I'm just gonna color match everything. Uh, and then obviously we're gonna smoke tint this brake light. But yeah, we're gonna set it up outside and we'll start throwing down some paint. All right, so everything is prepped and ready to go. I ended up just taking a little bit of time to tape off the lens here, just so we can get that outer layer or outer edge. Then we got the inside housing uh, as well as the brake light housing. So everything is ready to go and we can start painting. All right, so now everything is fully dried and we're inside, but man, I cannot believe how good these things turned out. They look absolutely unreal. So now we can start putting everything back together and hopefully get this one completely done. Welcome back you guys, it is now the next day. So after sealing up the taillights, I wanted to let them sit overnight so they could cure properly because you don't want to go and move them around right after you seal them, obviously. But man, looking at these things again, they just look incredible. I am so excited to get these on the truck and see how everything looks and see how well it even matches. So I'm gonna take these guys down and I'm gonna give you the first 
view the first time seeing them on the truck. I haven't even test fitted them, so we're gonna see it firsthand together. Let's go. Okay, you guys, so I've just finished installing these things and I actually can't believe how good they turned out and how good they look on the truck. They match the vinyl almost, almost perfect, but there's a little bit of a difference. I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comment section below, but I am amazed at this. They look so good, but enough talking. I'm just gonna show you guys, check it out. Here they are, installed on the truck. All right, you guys, well, that concludes the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. In total, the entire taillight mod cost me 25 bucks. That's including the paint, all the silicone resealant to reseal the taillights and everything and only a few hours of work. So if you're looking to do a taillight mod on a budget, you can't go wrong. Thanks again, you guys. See you next time.